Hi guys, Microsoft is officially closing down all space. What does it mean for the industry? Should we be worried? Let's find out in today's video. But first, a big shout out to our sponsors of the day. VR-Wave.Store, your go-to place for all your lens prescription adapters. 5% discount with the promo code VRESSENTIALS. Now, Allspace was officially founded in 2013 by Eric Romo, then officially launched in 2015. However, within two years, they actually had run out of investment. But luckily, Microsoft was able to acquire them and since then had developed the platform. Now, by the way, big shout out to you and a big welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the Digiverse, of course. Now, personally, I'm quite sad by this news because we had done a lot of events inside of Altspace, including one of the Oculus Quest at the time, Connect, which was, I think, a couple of years ago or three years ago. And, you know, it's just really sad news, I think. You know, I've made so many friends inside of Altspace that are today subscribers of VR Essentials. So do leave a comment below. Let me know, you know, let the community know. How do you feel? Do you think this is quite shocking? Um, you know, or did you expect something like this to occur? And what does it really say for the business of social media digiverses within virtual reality and whether it's as healthy as we actually think it might be. We're going to look at all this and talk about this in today's video. So do leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts about what you think about today's topic. Now, by the way, there are some timestamps in the description below as well. So do skip to wherever you feel, you know, this video might be more relevant to you and just read out all the different points of the video. But for those who don't know what Allspace is, basically what was really amazing about it was, first of all, it was one of the first social media digiverses to be launched inside of VR on the Oculus Go, then the Oculus Quest. It didn't make it to Pico, of course, and now we know why. And if it went on another platform before the go, please let me know in the comments below if I got that wrong. But it was really an amazing experience. It wasn't about the graphics. Honestly, the graphics were not great. And the initial invest the, in the initial, excuse me, avatars were also, you know, to be desired for, but that's not what it was about. It was extremely innovative and more importantly, it worked. The community was one of the friendliest communities I could think of. It didn't really have that many kids inside of it. You know, most of the people inside were adults. So it was very safe to be there, um, you know, comparing it to its counterparts, like for example, VR chat, which has a lot more youngsters in there and there's a lot of hanky-panky and all these kind of things going on there. Although, you know, VR chat is much more for people who want to express themselves in a much more creative way as you can upload your own customized avatars. You couldn't really do that inside of Allspace. You had to use the avatars that were given to you. Now, the amazing thing about Allspace though is that a couple years later, I think it was in 2021 or late 2020, they had actually done a overall of the entire graphic system and world system where they had really spoofed up all the avatars are enabling you to really communicate the emotions in a much clearer way that you were feeling in real life when you had your VR headset on. What was really cool about Allspace also is that they made it very, very easy in a lot of ways to create your own worlds. They had two systems as well, one of which was to you know use the templates there and it had so many different buildings and so many different things you could do at a touch of a button or at a click of a button. It was really try you know childlike. You didn't know you didn't need to know any coding or anything like that. But at the same time, they did have an SDK that was you know patched through to Unity, enabling you to edit all your worlds in Unity and then upload them really quite easily inside of the platform as well. Now, personally, I'm actually very surprised by this news in a lot of ways because um, in 2022 they had announced. Mesh to be compatible, Microsoft had announced Mesh to be compatible with Allspace, which is basically a, techni a technology, excuse me, enabling you to combine and merge the Digiverse with real life with either a AR headset or a VR headset, which basically means that all your avatars, if you're inside of Allspace, would come to life inside of the real world, 
whilst you'd also be able to scan your body or send yourself inside of old space and look like you're actually a real person as well, which looked really really amazing i have to admit and there's a lot of things that you could do inside of all space as well in terms of customization which was amazing now the fact that microsoft are closing shop could mean of course there's two meanings here first of all we know that they just fired or laid off excuse me you know about 10,000 employees going along with the trends as it were with other technology companies although a lot of these tech companies do these things you know for two different reasons sometimes well sometimes they really do it because they need to you know, save the cash flow and the margin calls are kind of stressing them out and the pressure points are getting more pressurizing as it were. But a lot of the times they do this to spike up the actual share price or to put more pressure on actual governments to lobby for things that they actually require, but the governments are not willing to give it to them. So sometimes it is, polit it is excuse me, political and sometimes it really isn't. Now, every time I went inside of all space, there were always a lot of people in there and all the worlds were quite well curated to a certain aspect. But there were a lot of admin staff there and, you know, it was quite busy. You could feel that it was quite busy most of the time that you would go inside of all space. But what does this really mean also potentially for the industry? Well, let's look at a couple of articles and also what Microsoft had to say about this. And let's analyze a little bit as well in terms of the users in other platforms that rival or compete with all space and whether, you know, it's a telltale sign that it might actually trickle down to other platforms. Because at the moment, Let's not forget that none of these platforms, none of these platforms are making any money whatsoever. They're all reliant on their own self-funded investment through, of course, their investors or, you know, shareholders or whatever it might be, depending on the company that is actually, you know, building and maintaining these things. And they are, of course, potentially in the future, the amount of data points that can be picked up from any player that's inside is absolutely staggering because let's not forget that they're analyzing you know where we look at if you have you know some kind of foveated rendering or you have eye tracking um and also all our movements inside of vvr you know they can actually analyze how our avatars are animating uh both the fingers the hands the arms you know absolutely everything and then if you have sensors which a lot of people you know thousands of people have sensors or body sensors they wear enabling them to move their legs even and be completely independent so this is a lot more data points that they're giving all these platforms and let's not forget also our voice what we say and also how we say it not just the words we actually say now and all this data potentially will be sold both to third marketing parties and also advertisers and potentially governments also who want to put more pressure in terms of finding data on potential voters to actually keep them in power or to get rid of them or you know big farmers to manipulate society in certain ways like you know unfortunately meta um, has been you know shown to, to have been doing you know this is going to trickle down in so many different ways inside of the metaverse so this is potentially revenue that is worth billions of dollars which is why a lot of these platforms right now are not charging anything to anyone but eventually they will start charging of course advertising money as well or they will come up with subscriptions like vr chat has um so that if you want additional stuff then of course you pay for it um you know so 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 it's going to become more of a freemium model than a free model although for some companies like meta for example or the the, the next pico world i would imagine will also of course or freeverse by htc uh, viverse by htc of course these kind of platforms perhaps are not going to be paid because they will make their money in other ways now according to the wall street journal it's reported that horizon worlds had up to 200 monthly users inside of its world by october 2022. VRChat is also another platform that, you know, seems to have a lot of players. According to Steam Chart, it's had an average of almost 21,000 players in December 2022 alone. Now, in April 2022, it was reported by Road to VR publication that Rec Room had peaked at 3 million monthly active users from 1 million active users. However, Statista says that it only has about 3,279 users. And personally speaking, you know, I think it's better to follow Statista because their research is a little bit more in-depth. And also, personally, when I go into Rec Room, 
I generally speaking do not feel like there are 3 million active users every month inside of it. Roblox is reportedly having about 58.8 million active users according to demandsage.com as well. Now it is true that when we go inside of Roblox, there are always a lot, a lot of people, but 60 million kids inside of there. Whew, that sounds like a lot. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Now, the official Allspace doors will be closing on March 10 of this year. So basically, in less than a couple months time, which is quite sad. And this is what Microsoft had to say in a blog post on Friday. The Allspace VR team said they're shifting focus to immersive experiences powered by Microsoft Mesh, the tech giant's cloud-based AR VR platform. As we look to the future, we see the opportunity for VR expanding beyond consumer into business and now have an even greater goal, a more open, accessible, and secure version of immersive experiences in the metaverse. Reads the blog post, with Mesh, we aspire to build a platform that offers the widest opportunity to all involved, including creators, partners, and customers. So this statement by Microsoft shows that they do have something up their sleeve, but the question is what? Well, they're looking to merge their mesh technology or develop their mesh technology even further, which by the way, as I mentioned before, is gobsmacking. It looks really, really amazing as to what they're looking to do. And it just makes a lot of sense. Also, they have you know Microsoft Teams, which is widely used as well for all your video conferences, calls, and communication amongst people. And let's not forget they, they also own Skype. And you know it would have been very interesting to see how Skype could be included in all these technologies as we shed away, let's say, from using our mobile phones and being able to actually make calls, receive calls, with people inside of VR or AR for that matter. Although, let's not forget that Apple very recently announced that they are going to postpone indefinitely their plans for an AR, VR, pair of VR glasses. So we don't know now when they're actually going to be releasing those or whether they'll be releasing them at all until the evolution of their MR headset, which is supposed to come out this year at the end of the Q3 or Q4 if there are no other delays. And also leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about the whole Apple news and the fact that they canceled their AR glasses. What did you think of this news? Have you heard of this news? Leave a comment below so we can debate this as well. But yeah, so there you have it, guys. You know, this is what's going on. As I said, I'm very sad about Allspace closing shop, but I'm very excited to see what Microsoft are going to come up with next because it makes a lot of sense to further improve Mesh and to incorporate other technologies, as I mentioned, like Teams and Skype as well. So guys, thank you very much for spending some time together in this video. Really enjoyed uh, our time together. As always, leave comments below. Let us know what you think. Hope this video today was, you know, brought something to you of value. And of course, Remember to hit the notification bell, be part of the notification squad after you subscribe so you don't miss future really awesome videos. All right, until next time, take it easy, guys. Have a good day or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Bye. Ciao. Arrivederci. Zaijian. Oyasumi.